Time walk with me. Hey everybody, fancy meeting you here. I guess as long as you're here, I might as well tell you about a deck that I built, if I have to. There's a story with this deck, and I'm going to tell it to you whether you want to hear it or not. I taught both of my sons to play Magic, and the younger one can't stand to lose, so I made a deck very focused on winning. It's not exactly CEDH, but it's still pretty fun. Story over. Attempsis, all-seeing. This legendary sphinx costs 3 generic and 3 blue mana and is a 4-5 with flying. You can pay 2 generic and 2 blue and tap her to draw 2 cards and then discard a card. Then things get crazy. When Atemsis damages an opponent, and that's any damage, not just combat damage, you win the game. Well, you win once you reveal your hand and show that 6 of the cards in it have different mana values. She flies, so that makes her difficult to block, but there are cards here that make her impossible to block. So other than building up the mana to cast her and fending off your opponent's attempts to kill you, all you have to worry about is getting six different mana values in your hand. These cards ensure that your opponent's creatures won't be an obstacle to your victory. Aether Tunnel, Aqueous Form, Manifold Key, Mistford River Turtle, Security Bypass, Slip Through Space, Suspicious Bookcase, and Tricks of the Trade. These cards also help get your opponent's creatures out of the way. Choking Tethers, Icy Manipulator, Opposition, and Sleep. These help get the right cards into your hand, you know, so you can win. Anticipate, Chemister's Insight, Council's Deliberation, Deep Analysis, Deliberate, or Deliberate, but I think it's Deliberate. Elegith Crossroads Augur, this guy is really cool, he turns your scries into draws. Foresee, Frantic Search, Impulse, Inspiring Refrain, Interpret the Signs, Midnight Clock, which I'm not completely sure about in here because you don't really want a brand new hand if all you need is one or two more cards to, you know, be the combo. Obsessive Search, Omen of the Sea, Opt, Pour Over the Pages, Preordain, Serum Visions, Sleight of Hand, and Weave Fate. I decided on a wizard sub-theme because they have a cool variety of effects, many of which include draw and deck manipulation. Azami, Lady of Scrolls. This is actually the main reason I decided on wizards. Archmage of Echoes. Disruptive Pitmage. Enclave Cryptologist. Facet Reader. Gadwick the Wizened. Information Dealer. Inga Runeyes. Carfell Harbinger. Mystic Archaeologist. Sly Instigator, Teferi's Protege, Trinket Mage, Triska Decaphile, and Trophy Mage. Honestly, this section could use a bit of beefing up, but it has some cool stuff in it. I build these decks based on what I have on hand, so if you want to buy me more Soul Rings, let me know. Arcane Signet, Everflowing Chalice, Gauntlet of Power, Lotus Petal, Manascape Refractor. This is really cool. It has the activated abilities of every land on the battlefield, and you can use mana of any color to activate its abilities. And Seer's Lantern. Many of these are just here to add different mana values to your hand, but you could cast them if you have the mana, if you really want to. Gate Colossus, Glasses of Urza, Haunted Cloak, Trample might help get some damage through with Atemsis. Hermetic Study. This is a great way of getting around blockers. Meteor Golem. Pathraiser of Ulamog. Sandstone Oracle. Sorcerer's Wand. This works like Hermetic Study, but it can only damage players or planeswalkers, which is what you want to do anyway with Atemsis. Spare Dagger. You can take out one opponent with this. And Time Stretch. We got Islands, of course, 
Castle Vandress, Desert of the Mindful, Lonely Sandbar, Myriad Landscape, Remote Isle, Skyline Cascade, and The Surgical Bay. So there we have it. That is my Attempsis All-Seeing deck. What do you think of that? Give me your thoughts for free. I don't want to pay for them. And I'll see you next time.